of the Pook Temple Adoration Ceremony. Rolling of an ending symphony, blue dim light from warm eyes of those in the temple lay across definitive skin whites after ending. Their eyes bounce across absolute space in this our house of God. Peach skin is warm in its new white reality, and the husbands rub their noses across up her glorious neck and chin and repeat down again, cupping her unawakened skull through soft fine forests of scented hair till its ball fits his gloved palm. Pamper and stroke her lost time face with fingertips and comforting cheek warm press her face sighed, and they love her forever, all again, across no large span of time. She exhales slightly, ocean wave splashes, and inhales, wakens tender, young neck turns, twist curls, beneath no tart vineyards of wordless towering ceilings, and husband's thumbs stroke her palms, thin hands within ordained plumes, Again, warm expressions move husband's face across her dreaming face. And he that ordains the grand ceremony speaks, saying, He loves not only within his own head and disrupts knowing the skin attraction he is held through graphic other womanly presences, shall step back. Heart does not enlarge, but ever unattended sigh from her sleep is attended to with soft beck, knack, basting finger strokes, and whole hand rubs, where carnality meets cotton flag strokes in hot patriot fall winds, distant, lost to time, unneeded, for it covers all time to thy end. The woman are made to close their eyes. The male archetype reigns complete. Those complete step forward. Then he who completes the ceremony says, He can leave her sleep and knows no success. Not all thus the words in the convoluted array of even scattering of seed thought fields allow entrance to echoless tone of settled frowns of cool wrinkled foreheads and words feather off dazzlingly. With no wing and no heightening nor descent, and blue boos of neck muscles sprained and unstrained make adjustment cozy of careful self-massage. She awakes in single everlasting sprigs of up-downing, water-splashing, arrayed about from tire-filled gutters, curb, wives ask to open eyes. Hum, hum, midnight medieval sloth off, forward grand woods, ships towards dolphin, waves crest with grace, fun is traded for sentiment and grace, she yawns cartoon big and sustains windless posturing of her jaw as she sits up back down, lighted orange autumn maple tree with leaves not unhinged outside our eye swallow chocolate, Upon our balcony's scenic grin, the adoration ceremony is textually complete. Adoration ceremony's extension. Left M, left, right, right, left, left, right, E, right, by Lehim, Joseph Smith, and Moroni continues. Congruous forms differ from synchronic events as vastly as religion differs from belief in wilderness extremities. Commonly timed occurrences awaken the hypercurious mind to keyhole semantics that, God willing, fools can have and reinvented to their own childish illusionary past and expect years of non-escape and permanent social stasis among old friends. Transitory nothing and formal red dyes into high yellow skin, bonds formaldehyde light with my stare frozen in our hollow mansion universes caught between upstairs and downstairs, spines well stacked, her eyes glance then at the mural's disassociation behind me, and I step to see if I'm in her mind's interp of the mural as she is to her static aura's orbit. And nothing is demeaning here as my exhaling lungs, her drive to self-absorb ions of all cause, 
Her middle universe stops alert to silent drawls of air that I won't speak, can't speak, cause she owns that cause, and cause I have nothing more to say other than I am uncomfortable here. He writes in pitter-patter anticipation of a memory of the evening he just spent, spent with his true love. No such memories uproar. He can know he was relaxed and comforted by her being. A membrane coated both his heart and his perception of her without the rest of the universe. No dreary fleeting yawns and tired moments to wade through to her sickness. Nor could he find comfort in stasis, negation, or will. But he did find comfort with her person whole. This concludes the extension. Lahim makes further extension. Characterization is the enemy of an understanding of human expression unfiltered by rationale. Slumping exhales with phantom apples in both of my symmetries laying hands. Economically desolate, I can move my mind affirmatively forward to see life around me and don't believe it at all. I believe parts that I can focus on. The periphery of life's occurrences are not integrated, for I dared once to acknowledge all stimulus around me and live in it as real, but denial is, is requirement of all psychological souls. Cleansing mental windows yields chaos or blushing mystery, so my tired eyes are chemically dried by pain relieving. My back is too old for this young flesh hanging on these shivering calcium-filled witching sticks one upon another. My eyes move upon succession. I type on this glowing ancestor of the unheard. No yet present children's future technology. Type and pace my mother's discontents with speckled itches sparing sparsely about my face head. Mom belches and chokes coughing squats in sedentary postures of technology blindness into her good sleep and my night's appointment with radiant fracture two-dimensional characters that hold not enough together to threaten unfiltered rationalism. My back brace tags both my Adam's apple and my face of my belly as it climbs up when I sit down. Is not my mind full of colors from inside warm sunglass detail? My mother and her life away from me, blessed by me, with whole consent and Lord lost humbleness. This closing break will be our last. If my tired eyes do not close in focus to life's realities, and it is happening, but not without a partial unfolding, but not more. For it is not true for us that our mother could pass and leave us without wonder. Have you not left stellar seeds of thought in your throat? And sleep is the bowing heads of souls alive with their eyes closed? Sealer for two segments of different souls like a doctor closed about Siamese twins separate before either memory recalls. Examination leaves a monkey doctor men in bobbing states of matrimony. Marriage recurs focus and nobody has character to show for it other than the health nobility. That's why we say and ask you to repeat. Fools can't think which such salient buoyancy, acid in my throat, shooting pain in inside of elbow curt are my stemming drives towards sleep and sleep tonight. I don't respect any other parental figure other than those who have informed me. This will include my children when they are more parents than I. I must sleep in dry, dark thought, constantly squeezing the last gallon's gulp of liquid instinct up through my cylindrical head. This is not power nor true conception. Whether you see this that way or not, sleep in me, you inhaling bladder of soft textual soul guidance on your way, I, you coil sideways in torso convolutions and cool pillow comforts. Truth and paradox, child, I love you now. If I could just maintain everything about me as real are simultaneous and reality and real realness. I think zero, 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 so here we go. Don't you worry. Let worry worry you. Understand, my dear?